Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we're going to discuss some coffee shots on risk context point of view in which we're going to cover about acceptance, residual inheritance, tolerance. These, these, these topics, it's something which create always a confusion among the CISSP, C-RISC, CSA, CSA aspirants. So I thought I will make a coffee shot based on this topic. If you're new to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos in a similar context. My name is Prab Nair. For more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. So without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Thank you. Okay, so first question is, which of the following best indicates an enterprise risk appetite compliance in the organization? Before going to discuss this question in detail, let me first explain you some parameters. We have a risk capacity. We have a risk appetite. And we have a risk tolerance. Example, every month you're getting a salary of $1,000. So that is called as a risk capacity, the maximum risk that you can take for the month. Risk appetite is $500 I set for my mutual funds. That I'm going to invest from the $1,000, $500 on a mutual fund. So we have defined the particular risk for the particular initiatives. But one day I found some new mutual fund. So I increase my appetite, which is called my tolerance level to $550. So $50 extra was my tolerance level, which is increased, which is called as a risk tolerance. Now question talking about here, which of the following best indicate the risk appetite compliance. So it means we're talking about this. So option A, residual risk and acceptable risk level. Makes sense. Option B, inherent risk and acceptable risk. Now what is inherent risk? The risk which is untreated. Example, when you join any organization, okay, you can see a lot of transactions and all that. It is not possible for us to audit each and every transaction. And there is no control also. So somehow you planning to ignore that and all that because you haven't taken any kind of treatment against that. So that is a default inherent risk. So inherent risk is basically mean the risk which is basically there in the system without any treatment. And then we have a residual risk, the risk which is after the treatment. As I said, I am an auditor. I want to audit the transaction. I got scared so seeing so many transactions. I know it's not possible for me to audit each and every transaction. So I ignore that area. So that is basically my inherent risk. I know that, okay, I might miss something, but after applying the sampling or after applying the control, I can limit those transactions and I can focus on the limited transaction. So the transaction which is left after implementing control, that is a residual risk. So before treatment, the risk is called as an inherit. And after the treatment, the risk which is left is residual risk. So here the option A is saying that residual risk and acceptable risk level, which is basically part of an appetite. Option B, inherit risk and acceptable risk level, no. Inherit risk is basically risk, which is basically called as an untreated risk. So B, definitely removed. C, residual risk, which exceed the risk capacity. Always remember any risk, which is basically exceed my capacity, I will always have a choice to avoid that particular risk. I'm not planning to buy any new mutual fund, which basically exceed my risk capacity. Always remember. In that case, we avoid that opportunity that bring that level of risk, which exceed my capacity. So I will avoid that mutual fund for that month. So definitely that is not a best indicate. So C is removed and D say implementation of a countermeasure. D is basically part of the A. So the best indicate the enterprise risk appetite is the residual risk, the risk which is left after implementing control. And that is basically within the level. So we basically uh, accept those risks, which is below the appetite or equal to appetite but we never accept the risk which is exceed the capacity. So in this case, I will go with the answer A for alpha. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Thank you. Okay, next coffee shot. What is the most feasible risk response when cost of anti-malware exceed the damage probability of the computer virus? Example, like we have a system A. We discovered virus in the system, okay. That virus basically cost me for one hour uh, $2,000. Okay, and cost of implementing that cost me $4,000. Risk is already there in the system, which damaging a system. So cost of anti-value exceed the damage probability. There's no point of investing $4,000 for my $2,000 solution. 
so option a risk acceptance see risk and threat is already there in the system okay second is risk transfer we can go for the transfer also no doubt but transfer will be come into the picture when likelihood is low and impact is basically i same like we basically take a medical insurance it does not because of every day we have to go hospital if suddenly we get admitted in the hospital there is a company who will take care of my cost okay we can go for risk transfer also but the question has a keyword called most feasible third is called as a risk avoidance risk avoidance is basically mean uh, you avoid the source which bring risk to the organization but in this case risk is already persist in the system and d is basically risk tolerance which is basically called as a deviation okay that deviation we need to manage that should not exceed my capacity so only option which is very closed is a risk acceptance because when the cost of risk response which is called implementation solution exceed the damage probability of the virus then viable option is basically risk response because i already explained that this is basically my uh, risk capacity this is basically my risk appetite i can see the current risk is basically the tolerance level with above the appetite or below the appetite and to bring more below we are implementing control but when it is already manageable let's accept the impact associated with the risk because cost of implementing that is also very high ha huh, if it basically exceed my risk capacity okay it's already seen exceed the damage probability of a computer virus but we have to also check whether it is basically validating against the risk capacity if the damage is exceeding my risk capacity in that case we avoid we avoid that particular system which increase my risk capacity but it's already said that that cost of anti malware exceed the damage probability of a computer virus they don't talking about whether it exceed the capacity or exceed the appetite and all that so in that case we will go with the answer risk acceptance okay let's move to the next coffee shot okay assessment of an organization it initiatives reveal that project typically run over the budget it mean it increase the appetite level and it is approximately by 50% fine the management tell that is practitioner the variance of 55% is also acceptable after the review now it mean from 50 to 55 is basically exit this is the illustration of what as i said this is the risk capacity so in this case risk capacity is missing but risk appetite is already mentioned which is like a 50% you increasing the tolerance level to 55% okay so in the question is not talking about here what you responding to things they just talking about what is this illustration all about so it is not acceptance it is not a transfer it is not document mitigation so only thing is basically risk tolerance so we will see that risk tolerance is increase from 50 to 55% and based on that we take a decision always remember as a senior management or business manager always see the tolerance level if tolerance exceed the capacity we avoid if tolerance and we are primary objective is to implement the control to bring the tolerance below the appetite and then after that whatever the risk is left we accept So in this case, they're talking about the variation. So that's why the keyword is variation. So that's why I'm going with the answer D, risk tolerance. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Thank you. Okay. So which of the following is a manner of a risk avoidance? Install the antivirus is a risk mitigation. Purchase insurance is a risk transfer. Take no action against the risk is a risk acceptance. But exit the process that arises a risk is a risk avoidance. That's why the answer is basically C. Okay. let's move to the next coffee shot according to enterprise security policy all systems must use password at least 8 character long this policy does not apply to two systems on the network one system will be upgraded in 4 months while the other will not be upgraded or withdrawn from the network okay which of the following procedure should be carried out if acceptable risk for an enterprise is basically achieved in the question we are not talking about anything transfer so a removed control risk is basically all about ineffective control but control in place but some systems are not compliance for this so b removed inherent risk is minimized as i said it already said all system must use a password at least eight character this policy does not apply to two systems on the network one system will be upgrade in four months it mean we are taking a further action we already identify something so we have already remove the inherent risk so and d is basically saying resolute risk within the tolerance level yes so we as i said we have a risk capacity we have a risk uh, appetite and this is my risk tolerance as this tolerance is below the appetite equal to appetite so in that case and the question also talking about acceptance risk for the enterprise is achieved 
सो ऑनली ऑप्शन इज बेसिक लेफ्ट इज डी बिकॉज इनहेरेंट रिस्क इज समथिंग विच इज बेसिकली वी अचीव आफ्टर द डी ओनली एंड इनहेरेंट रिस्क इज समथिंग विच इज कॉल्ड एज अ द रिस्क विच इज अनट्रीटेड एंड क्वेश्चन इट्स ऑलरेडी सेंग दैट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्रोसेस शुड बी कैरियड इफ एक्सेप्टेबल रिस्क फॉर द एंटरप्राइज इज अचीव डेफिनेटली दैट रिस्क इज रेसल रिस्क विद इन द टॉलरेंस लेवल दैन ओनली वी कैन एबल टू एक्सेप्ट दैट दैट्स वाई द आंसर इज डी बिकॉज दैट इज विद इन एक्सेप्टेबल लेवल राइट लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट कॉफी शॉट थैंक यू ओके सो रिस्क ऑफिसर हैज रेकमेंडेड सेवरल कंट्रोल सच एज फायर वॉल एंड एंटी वायल टू प्रोटेक्ट द एंटरप्राइज इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम विच रिस्क रिस्पॉन्स एक्शन हैज बिन टेकन इट इज नॉट अ ट्रांसफर इट इज नॉट ट्रांसफर टू थर्ड पार्टी इट इज अ मिटिगेशन बिकॉज वी इंप्लीमेंटिंग कंट्रोल इट इज नॉट अ एक्सेप्टेंस दे हैव बिकॉज दे ऑलरेडी टेक अ कंट्रोल टू इंप्लीमेंट एंड इट इज नॉट समथिंग दे आर डिसकंटिन्यूइंग सो दैट इज वाई द क्लोज ऑप्शन इज कॉल्ड एज अ बी लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट कॉफी शॉट which of the following risk response process bring more liability to the organization see in 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 this case all four bring liability actually because suppose in the case of risk transfer suppose this is the bank we have okay bank is planning to use cloud service in which they host the application so bank hosts the application in the cloud and there is an agreement has been signed a contract has been signed any security breach happen in the cloud they are answerable to the bank and they will pay the money for that so one data subject if it comes here example like there is a one data subject he come to the bank he open an account and bank store that data in the cloud stored data in cloud and tomorrow any kind of a security breach happen in the cloud example any kind of a security breach okay they are answerable to bank but by by end of the day ultimately bank is the one who answerable to the data subject and also answerable to regulatory authority so we just transferring the impact to third party against the financial risk and all that but we cannot transfer the accountability It, same like you know you taking a training from me okay so i am answerable to your actions i transfer your training to third party if something happen wrong also you question me only but based on your trust only i join the session right so liability is there in a risk transfer after implementing control in the case of mitigation also there has will be some risk is left that is called as a residual risk that is also bring liability acceptance also bring liability okay avoidance doesn't bring liability so d definitely removed okay so we left with a b c so only close which is basically bring more liability is called as a c because sometime untreated risk that we accept that bring more liability that's why the answer is c let's move to the next not coffee shot this time snacks yes snacks is very important without snacks how the coffee can be good so snacks are there will be some treatments inherent risk untreated risk of an organization as i said i am a sim expert and i am generating a logs from all the systems so logs now consolidate in the system we don't have a time to review that so that is basically untreated which is a inherent and because of the reason i'm skipping those areas which might have a sensitive information to review then applying the control on that and focus on the filter data that is a control you applied and then in that case you have skipped some logs and focus on more logs so untreated risk is a inherent risk then we have a residual risk the risk which is left after implementing a control as example user is not comfortable to retain the 10 character password okay eight character password with multi factor we have implied and after that there is a 1% or 2% probability with the phishing link he can hack the account so that risk is a residual risk the risk which is left after implementing a control because risk cannot be eliminate third is called as a risk capacity the amount and type of organization is able to support to pursue of its business objective overall salary which is basically required for survival that is a risk capacity risk tolerance is a maximum risk the organization willing to take regarding to the relevant risk i already explain you and the appetite is basically the amount and type of risk the organization willing to accept in pursue of business objective if risk exceed the capacity then avoid if risk below the appetite then accept okay 
एंड इन विच कंडीशन वी गो फॉर रिस्क ट्रांसफर साइबर इंश्योरेंस और लाइवलीहुड इज लो एंड इम्पैक्ट इज बेसिकली हाई इन दैट केस वी बेसिकली गो फॉर रिस्क ट्रांसफर इफ यू फाइंड दिस वीडियो यूजफुल डो शेयर इन यू नेटवर्क एंड डो लेट मी नो योर फीडबैक इन अ कमेंट बॉक्स वॉट इज द नेक्स्ट वीडियो यू वॉन्ट मी टू मेक ऑन सी रिस्क और अदर रिस्क कॉन्टेक्स क्वेश्चन If you're new to my channel do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos because I am coming up with more and more videos on our serious and other topics thank you goodbye